Welcome everybody back to Boost Motion, guys. And today we're going to be installing the AAM competition intakes on my Infinity Q60. This also is going to apply to the Q50, Red Sports, 3.0 T's, Premiums, pretty much any Q50, Q60 that came with the VR30. So guys, let's jump into the video. I'm going to put a link above for the unboxing so you can look at all the parts, but let's get into the video. Hey, so I've installed these intakes before in the past. So, hey, yeah, that's a C63 right there. Just, guys, if you want to know, I have a C63 also. And I've installed the competitions intakes, and I've also installed the BMS inlets on, on uh, the VR30 in the past. And my uh, car is definitely dirty. I might really need one of you, got, one of you detailer guys to come out here and just do a full-fledged inside and outside detail. But anyways... So briefly, I'm going to make this video pretty quick, and I'm going to try to make it so specialized that anybody could do it. First thing I'm going to do is get a flathead, and you're going to need to take off all these plastic clips, stick them between there, and this is going to remove the engine rod. All right, the next thing I want you guys to do is remove these two um, 10 millimeter bolts. There's one here, and there's one under here, or you can use a Phillips head and unscrew it, but it's best to use a 10 millimeter bolt unclip these two from here and this is going to allow you guys to separate the front of the intake system to the back same thing on this side unclip unclip and then unbolt and unbolt anyways let me do that all right now that we move the front part of it um i want you guys to unclip this harness you could just use a regular flathead to just unclip that there and unclip the mass airflow right there that will unclip that the next thing i'm going to do <coughs> is access that flathead right there. Same thing here, unclip this harness here, or I might have to cut it through, I forgot what I have to do. Unclip that, move it out, unclip the harness, and unclip the mass airflow. This one is a lot harder, remember, I t I'm gonna have to show you guys how to do this one properly, because you can't see it on video, but let me just quickly uh, take off the driver's side. All right, now, the reason why this the passenger side is so annoying because you see that little band down here. Let me zoom in for you guys. Right there. The one with a little bit of red on top of it. You're going to have to remove that. You can try to break this down because I do have the BMS inlets on. So I could remove the mass airflow in this top part, which would give me more room. Which I'm pr pr going to probably do anyway. I could remove this band. But remember, I don't have the OEM um, inlets. I mean, the OEM inlets on my um, car. So it's a bit easier for me to do it this way. But if you guys have the OEM inlets, it has like a, a specific mechanism on its OEM inlets, which are super weird. But anyways, I'm gonna take off this top part and the size of that, the size of that uh, specific bolt, give me a second guys, I'm gonna let you, is going to be a 5 sixteenths. 5 16th is what you need to remove uh, those bands, all right? Anyways, uh, let me go quickly do that. All right, so for the people who have slim hands, just use a small uh, quarter inch, excuse me, quarter inch with the 5 and 30, 3, 5 16th. Remember, this is on the OEM band, and you just start unloosening it. You don't need too much because once it's loosened, you could just pull the inlet out. But just unbolt it. So I'm bolting it. And then once you have it unbolted enough, you should be able to pull it out. <sighs> okay, I didn't unbolt it enough. But let me just do that because I was just trying to show you guys on video. And then um, and then also there was an only on bracket here that they don't talk about removing. I already did that already because I already did it in a previous install. But just um, unbolt that too. And for anyone who wants to know, this is for the DDS <laughs> suspension. If you guys want to know. Anyways, let me quickly take this out, and yeah, we should be halfway there. Oh, so much more better. Anyway, so it's out. Just unclip this band right here, and take off that. I don't know if you're going to reuse some of this stuff, but just take off this clip, and take off that clip, and we're going to remove the mass airflow sensors, and then we're going to start by installing the inlets off the AAM competition. So remember, guys, you don't get to see this often, but in my last video, I compared the AMS inlets to the BMS versions and or the OEMs. So I've always had a comparison. Now we can compare the Burger Tuning Motorsports inlet to the AAM competition. All right, take a look. About similar lengths. Take a look from this side. I wanna make sure. Plus, 
you guys get to see if there's any issues first. All right. Now, from what I can see, the inlets look about the same length, but this one looks, the BMS looks a little slimmer. It actually is a little slimmer. The mouth is a little wider and a little bigger than the BMS inlets one. Okay. And the body and even the filler neck or the neck itself. Take a look. Yep, it's definitely about wider, but the inlets are still about the same. Let's see here to the turbo. About the same width here. So the inlets are wider at the top opening. It's probably because we're going to have a different mass airflow housing. Because remember, guys, we're replacing the mass airflow housing. We're not using the OEM. So that could be a reason why the inlets are a lot larger opening. This should also help with quicker spool and less turbulence for the, um, the turbos themselves. But once the, once the turbo suck in the air, it's sucking the air regardless. All right, let's take a look. All right, anyways, let me install, let me draw the passenger side first. I'm not going to record too much here because it should be a lot, a lot easier. Just do everything in reverse order. Once again, it's going to be annoying putting this side on. But I'm probably going to show you guys the massive or part next. So let me just get these inlets on and let's move forward. Also, I must include, you have to transfer this nipple from the OEM or the aftermarket inlet and install it on the new part here. So I'm going to quickly do that, but let's move forward to the mass airflow housing. All right, now I just want you guys to take paper towel or something just to block the inlets because you don't want to drop anything in there because you're not going to see it. So just put something in there so nothing over the debris or anything can fall in there. Next, we're going to grab the mass airflow housings that's included in the um, installation kit. Now remember, in the, in the uh, unboxing video, I talked about that these mass airflows are sleeves. So you can actually change the inner diameter of it. When the sleeves are in there, that is the OEM inner diameter. Uh, inner diameter now I stated that I would take the sleeves out and go with the larger one but right now I don't have the time to have my tuner uh, to tune the car or anything for the sleeves uh, being removed so keep the inner diameter ones in and I don't have to technically the car will have any drivability issues because it'll be the same inner diameter of the mass airflow housing all right now that we put the mass airflow in right we're not going to install it yet what we're going to start to do is pre-build the intake system we're going to bolt up the mass airflow housing to the bottom of the intake system okay i want you guys to take a look and see how it looks now you're going to there's they supply you with the bolts and nuts and i want you guys to bolt it in now once you do that i'm going to show you the next part so we're going to do that for the both sides and i'm going to show you the next part all right so this is how it should look all right once it's screwed in you can use the bolts included and this is a hole that you use to access and tighten that band anyway let me do that next and then we should be able to install all right so you know i like to keep it 100 with you guys on video um i'm gonna be in contact with aam they should include a grommet to cover this hole and this access hole is a little bit hard to get to but they should have included a grommet he might have just forgot to send me it but we're pretty much finished with the uh, intake itself here that's how it look now we're going to push it in tighten the bands and then put the top part on and then we should actually be able to do a startup all right let's go all right take the screws that are provided and i want you to bolt those in screws in right there and right there and there's one right here and right here and then we're going to move on to the last part bolting it in all right so one of the last things you have to do is take out these grommets out of the stock intake system and we're gonna put those in these holes and then we're gonna line everything up. After this, we should be, I'm gonna start the car with the intakes open like this and then I'm gonna put the shroud on. All right, so let me just quickly do that and we should be near the end of the video. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, guys, so you got to hear the official startup. No check engine lights, no issues, no problems. Let the car run for about five, 10 minutes. Um, just double check, make sure your connections are proper. I'm gonna put the engine shroud on and that's gonna sit on top of here and it's gonna show you the final look. When you put the engine shroud on, you won't really get to hear the turbo noise or the intake now noises as loud. If you choose to, you can run the car without the engine shroud, but you will have slightly higher IETs. Just guys, just to know that. Um, but it's still a pretty good system and shout out to um, Q5060 Tech Talk on Facebook. They talked about running the Shroud actually gains a little bit more power while the car is moving because you'll get cooler air and a little bit more appropriate air running into the intakes while the car is moving. This applies to almost any intake system that are aftermarket while, once the car is moving. But we're going to run it in stock form because that's just the way I have the car tuned. So outside of that, guys, uh, the promo code should be up, Team Boost in Motion. But we don't know. But outside of that, guys, um, I want you guys to have a good morning, good afternoon, good night. Thank you guys so much for banging with your boy, Boost. Thank you for always supporting the channel. And please, guys, if you made it to this part, why are you not hitting the like button? You guys watch all my videos consistently, and I get a lot of views from you guys, and you are new to this channel. Please subscribe, hit the bell notification, and hit all. Outside of that, guys, we have good morning, good afternoon, good night. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, AM Competition. And once you can finally honestly sit there and say it, my Q60 is officially um, AAM Competition uh, powered. All their parts. Outside of that, guys, you have good morning, good afternoon, good night. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. You have a good day. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Do appreciate you guys. Love you guys very much. You can also check out the two links I posted for some of my other videos. Also, on top of that, if you want to purchase some Boost Motion merch, definitely check the link that I posted also. And finally, if you've been watching all my videos and you enjoy them, please hit the link for to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you.